Today I'm going to show you how to create a survey site in SharePoint 20. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, this one I'm going to show you just in the not so complex, it's just a straightforward out of the box. On my second screencast, I will show you how to modify it and other customizations. But for now, just the basic fundamental. So let's go ahead and start. In order to create the SharePoint survey, um, we'll go to the all site content and then create. And we would see a template first survey that's out of the box. So let's create let's create a student survey. Now once you start creating it will ask you questions. Obviously survey has a lot of questions. So that's how it really starts with it. So let's start a question for are you a student okay now for this one obviously the answer would be yes or no you would be tempted to choose this in fact you can choose it that's not a problem I mean it would work fine but I like choice because you will see what I mean yes no and in future so I have additional options that I can actually collect in basically. So now I can choose either drop down or radio buttons or check boxes. It's your choice, but I like radio buttons. Now allow fill in choices, no. And no default choice. So let's go ahead for the next question. And next question is assuming he choose yes. Okay. So let's see course registered okay uh, then I will have let's say SharePoint SQL Server VB yeah you get the idea same thing next question then name of the instructor I can choose from personal group that means you'll only choose the people that you already have in the list and if you have image of an instructor yeah you can choose it with picture and without so I mean I don't have it so anyway next question finally let's get some rating on the instructor. Now there is a special field for rating here. Rating. And now not only you can get rating on one particular but you can categorize on what type of category that you want to rate on the instructor. For example, I want to rate on his lecture ability and interaction interaction with students then notes let's make this shot instead of interaction with students let's put interaction the only reason I did this is because if you have this longer than the other then it would put in a second line and then it would look pretty uh, not uniform you will see what I mean and let's give a range of 10 low being the 1 average 5 and high being the 10 now not applicable option this is added at the end if you choose in other words if you select it there will be one more option to choose not applicable and if you remove it you won't see it but just for the sake of demo I will add it next question and then comments by the student okay we'll put multiple lines let us give 
not more than two lines to write because we don't want the whole history and just keep the plain text and then next question now so far we have gone with the idea that student selected yes what if he selects no so then we would say not a student comment okay let's put actually we'll do this if you said no then are you interested to be one okay let's give a yes no I mean the same thing we could do that but as I said I like yes no so yes no I mean I said uh, the choice I like choice instead of check boxes same thing next question now I can also have a possibility of the student selecting in future so let's say if he puts in future then address and phone let's give multiple lines of text so that he can put the address and phone uh, we want to leave it six just in case and then let's finish it now we have all these questions that we needed now we need to branch it if you remember the first question are you a student this needs to be branching and here if yes we go with course registered next question same right this way if no we want to take him to are you interested to be one now if he says if or she is in future then we'll get the address and phone so this is where you do the branching logic it's a pretty cool one so now let's say okay uh, everything else is pretty straightforward it's uh, just a field um, types that you can choose here but in our case it's a simple one so now that should be do it I mean this is just basic you can go crazy with you know questions and branching logic here to jump from uh, you know from you can make it as spaghetti as possible but I suggest not to so let's go ahead and save this which is basically it does now if you go back to student survey oh one more one more thing I forgot you should go to survey settings and choose title description and navigation the reason I'm coming here is the survey option this is very important when a survey is taken by a student and let's say you want to allow only once rather than multiple times so by default it says okay you know you can only do the survey once however since we are testing it and I want to check the branching I'm going to say multiple now Microsoft chose to put this one in the a very interesting location title description and navigation if I had a choice I would have probably put in advanced settings but you know just so that you remember it's in here wherever they put it we need to go and get it let's start the survey respond to this survey the first thing is are you a student of course I say yes and then next it will take me to the important questions assuming you are a student so course registered SharePoint name of the instructor we can choose the picker instructor we'll bring up I just have this too okay now rating for the instructor lecture interaction notes I give lecture 6 interaction 4 notes awesome notes I could choose the not applicable here too now comments 
instructor is cool. Oh, now here I think we made a small mistake. This branching is taking all the way up here. I should have chose the branching from here to next. But anyway, let's see. So, what I forgot is in the branching, I haven't completed the whole branching. So, let's go back to the settings and here. Now, once the rating is done, we need to go to comments and then the branching is to the end. So, let's say content type. Now, we'll go into this in the next one. But right now, think that this is the end of it. Okay. Okay. Now, this will take for the first yes response. For no, we are jumping to are you interested to be one. So, we need to do something here too after they select it. So, let's go to the branching. If they say yes, we want to take him to the address and phone. If they say no, content type. Okay. That's another branching. I think this should do it. Let's let's check it out. Take the survey. Uh, yes. Next. Now you see it only took up to the point where you're asking the comments and see what happens after this. Share point. Instruct search select one lecture six whatever comments cool now technically it should say save and close right will be saved okay now let's take another one no next it actually took straight are you interested to be one I say yes then next, address and phone, please. So, no, one, two, three, Main Street, my town, and state, zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, all right, finish. Now, let's go back again. I said, in future, next, boom. It take you to the proper location. Same thing. Address. Finish. You can see all the responses here because, of course, I am the administrator and the owner of the site, so I can see all the responses here completed. And in fact, you can even um, see a graphical representation if you want. This is really cool. I mean, the way Microsoft did this one. It's it's a pretty straightforward, simple, and you know without much of customization, you can get what you want. Hope you'll use it. Thanks. Thanks for visiting Satin SharePoint. See you next time. Bye.